So now we're going to look at how we can show our data using SVG graphics. And SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. And what it is, is it's essentially a set of instructions to tell the computer how to draw a particular graphic. So it's not stored as an image with a set of pixels, it's just a set of instructions. So the graphics are drawn at the time that it's viewed. Now the advantage with this is that I can zoom in as much as I want into this rectangle for example and it will be still clear and there's no pixels or anything like that so it'll scale with the size of the display. And they're commonly used to make geometric shapes and this is perfect for making graphs from data for example. So it says SVG shapes for a web page must go within an an HTML SVG tag. So that's what I have right here. So in the body I have SVG tags and inside it you can use other tags like rect for rectangle to draw some shapes within it. So what I've told it to do is I've told it to draw a rectangle which takes up 100% of the SVG size. So this is the SVG right here and 100% of the width and then fill it with orange. So we have this orange rectangle right here. And what we can do is we can give it properties to make it scale with the display. So if I wanted to make this take up 90% of the width, I could say width equals, and then I can use some relative units here. So if I say 90 VW, that means 90% of the viewport width, which is the width of this frame right here. And I can do say height equals 50 viewport height. So it'll take up 50% of the height here. And now that I've specified this, if I change the size of the window by dragging around like this, it will maintain that scale. So the width will always be 90% and the height will always be 50%. And that's what's great about this. So you can use this for displays of various sizes and it will look consistent. Now what it wants us to do in this is it wants us to create a an SVG and then set its width to 500 which is this constant W and the height to 100 which is this constant H. So the first thing we need to do is to add an SVG tag it's like an element like this to our body. So our body's already been selected for us so what we can do is we can say, it's been set to the constant SVG, so we can say SVG dot, then we can call the append method. And in the append method, we pass in as a string, the type of element that we're going to add, which will be SVG. And the reason that this is pink right here is because we have a CSS style to say that all SVG tags should be a background color of pink. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to set the height and width and we can do this with these HTML attributes right here. So to provide a HTML attribute we'll just use the attribute method and we can call it on this selection right here which is just this graphic and we can set the width with just providing width as the key and then for the value we can provide W right here and that will set the width to this constant 500 and that's what it's done right here and we can do the same thing for height so we can say attribute and then height and then that should be H and it says you can also use a style tag to do this as well so we can just say style height H and it does the exact same thing so that's basically the equivalent of here saying style equals width 90 feet and it does the exact same thing so what we've done basically is we've created an SVG graphic and we've set the height and the width according to these constants and that should be all we need to do to complete the task so I'm just going to run this now and yeah that's worked perfectly